Hello everyone, welcome to day 13 of the February Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. The question that we have in today is subsets. Here in this question, we are given an array of integers wherein all the elements are unique in nature. What do we need to do? We need to return all possible subsets that may be generated out of the complete array. Let's try and understand it by an example. Here the input elements are specified as 1, 2, 3. So what all subsets could be formed? The first one is considering no element an empty array. The second one is considering one. The, sec the third one is considering two singularly. The, th the fourth one is considering one, two. The fifth one is considering three. Then we have one, three, two, three and one, two, three together. We need to write the code such that all possible subsets can be returned as part of the final answer. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation and we will be using the backtracking technique to solve this question. Subset lead code 78. It's a medium level question on lead code and we will use the same technique of backtracking using which we have solved plenty of questions in the past. I'm also attaching to the link of the playlist for the backtracking series. If you're interested in learning backtracking, that playlist is for you. As a basic step, let's reiterate what backtracking involves in the background. What do you do? You maintain the current state of the object, look through all possible sample sets, add a new element from the sample set, recursively invoke for the next entry, remove the last element that was added in the sample set. And this is a typical template for any backtracking problem. So we will again use the same template onto this example and let's walk through it. So let's consider we have three elements, one comma two comma three. And right now uh, our answer set doesn't include any element. It's all empty. So let's get started. The first and the obvious case is we start with an empty array and uh, what we will do, we'll definitely add it to the result. So empty array gets added to the result. Each step will be added to the result. Remember this point. So let's start the iteration. The first element that we see is one. So we, let's add one to it. So one gets added and you generated a one possibility of the answer. So one also get this element also gets added to your answer. Now using this element, let's proceed in the further direction. So what do we see next? We see two. So two gets added to it. So we have one comma two and let's add it to your result. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is three, three gets added. So we have one comma two comma three. This also gets added to the result. Pretty simple and straightforward so far. Now you have exhausted the entire list. What do you do? You need to backtrack. And when I say backtrack, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You need to remove the last added element. The last ele added element gets removed and you again proceed to the previous position. So what do you see? You see one comma two and from one comma two, there is no more possibility that could be generated as a result of which you again backtrack. So this is also removed and you backtrack back to one. From one, what could be the other possibility? In, instead of adding two immediately, we could have added three. So there is one scope that is left. So we again go in the bottom direction towards the leaves and we add three to it. So one comma three gets the another possibility. So it gets added to the answer set. Let's proceed ahead. Next, do we have any further elements after three? No, there are, are not any elements. As a result of which we have to delete back three and again we are back to one. Once we are back to one, we have iterated over all possibilities for one as a result of which we again need to backtrack. So we again go back to the previous position, which is an empty array. Now, instead of starting from one, since you have already completed all the possibilities for one, what you're going to do, you'll start from two. So let's start the iteration from two and two gets added to an empty array. It's another possibility of result as a result of which this element, this one also gets added to the result. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is three. So after two, we are seeing three. So we get two comma three, a new subset and this gets added to the result. What do you see next? You see that you have exhausted all the elements up till the last element and no more can be added as a result of which it's time to backtrack. So you go back to the previous position. Now, starting from two, can you see more possibilities apart from three that can be added? No, it, there is no such possibility as a result of which you also have to remove two. So you go back to the higher parent 
and what element do you see you see an empty array that simply signifies that you have completed all elements starting from 1 and 2 as your possibilities for your answer result now it's time for 3 so let's shoot for 3 3 gets added and this becomes part of your answer can we add more elements after 3 no we can't as a result of which you have to simply backtrack back to the previous parent now you have generated all possibilities starting for the subsets that can be generated starting from 1 2 and 3 and with this we com complete the entire iteration so in the end we have finally and successfully iterated over all the possible subsets in totality there are eight such possibilities which is in sync with our expectation we'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked and let's quickly move on to the coding section in the first step what do i do i create the answer result which will actually store all the possibilities of subsets that could be generated if my nums dot array length is zero i simply return the answer otherwise i by default i go and add an empty array list into my answer so this is a default case because one empty array list would obviously be part of the answer again i have created a backtracking helper class which accepts the current elements the answer set that will actually show your answer and i pass in a new array list because i'm starting from default the default case is an empty array list what is the starting index that i need to iterate over it's zero in the end i simply return the answer so the question boiled down to writing this backtracking helper method appropriately and these are the four parameters that i had just discussed in case my index element happens to be greater than or equal to the total number of elements that are present in my input array i simply abort the process i return back otherwise what do i do i start a loop starting from i equals to index i is less than nums dot length i plus plus in the first go we simply add a new element into my current list which is being passed over here and i as soon as i have uh, updated the my current list i add it to my answer set and i proceed ahead looking for further elements the next immediate element present in my nums array so what do i do i pass in nums the answer uh, array list that will store the answer the current state of the list and i increment the pointer to i plus one once I'm done with this, I simply remove the last element from my current list. So this step is very important, which most of the folks tend to forget in the backtracking technique. So let's try this up. And this is not something new. We have been solving such questions from a very long time. And this is the same template that I have used. So if you're interested in about learning about backtracking, this is a playlist for you. I'm attaching the link in the description below. Hope you have a great time viewing it and it will definitely clear all your basics. So it has a variety of questions starting from the basics to the hard category. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.